guys. Where'd that robot go? We're about to find out. It is Open Your Heart, the official Sonic Adventure stream from Bowtons in honor of Christmas 1999 and its 20th anniversary approaching. That was really as what slopes. So we're following... What's he doing? It's like, it's like skating. I'm getting distracted. We're following uh, E-102. But oh, now you can run. Back to Robotnik's base. If many of you remember, is well, found a bunch of stuff. Through a forest, etc., etc. I, I really don't know how... Like, no trains are in service. I only know this for playing the game. I don't know how the hell Knuckles is able to follow him all the way back. He's clearly nowhere to be seen. Gamma, that is. Alright, let's see if I can actually fly all the way there. I'm gonna guess that those little spotlights are it. Hey, look at the bump. What's that for taking a shortcut? Ah, uh, pickles in my eyes. Anybody follow how I ended up here? I didn't. Here we go. Thankfully, I don't have to play through that stupid puzzle game. Hmm. Just what I thought. Time make a house call. Pretty cool line, but I don't really know what it means because I think that's his home. I mean, it's Robotnik's. It's not even Robotnik's home. It's a French ship. A lot of cool stuff with the timeline happens here as far as, like, what stories I think take place where. We'll get into that more with the other stories in the game. Because I already mentioned how Knuckles' story starts before Sonic's story kind of extends towards the end of it. And we'll see that now with uh, Knuckles now aboard the Egg Carrier. Now we'll see who's so easily tricked. Yeah, now we'll show them, even though the tricking is already done. Are here somewhere. Because they were on Emerald TV. Right, couldn't we just, like, watch the Emerald TV to find what the other ones were? Or do I just literally want to storm them there? Oh, okay. So uh, now I'm in robotic swimming pool. Not really where you want to be. I can actually go out of this. Usually, it's a matter of hitting a button or something. Whee! Hey, an emblem! I don't know if I've ever found that one before. And then boxes in here? Oh, Robotnik! You can stock for me up in here. I like that. It's a diving board and everything. What is the pump? Oh, wait, do I just like lift this door? Okay. I'm gonna drain the water. How do I drain the freaking water? Oh, there's a giant button that's gonna drain the freaking water. There's a barrack match right there. I swear I've done this before. Alright, well, I'm just gonna keep breaking open ring boxes in the meantime. Countdown to Christmas 2019 continues. It might be here before I find this damn thing. Oh my god. Oh, some good rings. Good money to be made cleaning Robotnik's pool. Alright, alright. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that? Obviously not that thing. Well, usually Sonic games just kind of telegraph where the damn button is. It's like, boom, it's that big red glowing thing. But if the spring, does that give me a clue? The room is only so big. What's not in there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hold on. I thought if I, if I, if I stand on the diving board, maybe? I mean, I thought it was just on that center platform up here. Apparently, that's where the emblem is. It's kind of a cool song. Maybe it's out on the. I really don't know. Take a look before I waste more time out here. Okay, I gotta go like meet Robotnik or something. Oh, okay, here we go. It would have been nice for the game to tell me that before. Yeah, so the transformation happens, just like in every other story. Literally, that's all I have to do is walk that way. Sorry for wasting five minutes of your time, guys. Now let me guess, when I walk in here, there's going to be like no water in the pool, right? 
There's no water in the pool. That's all I had to do was walk backwards. Oh my freaking god. Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally went forwards. Let's go ahead and go to the little door here. I don't know how much this level. In some ways, the sky deck is accessed completely differently for Sonic and Tails, but as Knuckles, you go through the swimming pool. Ah, oh, this is actually kind of a pain. I forgot about this. You gotta actually, like, use the friggin' switch that nobody knows how to use. Like, tilt the room a certain way to make the emerald accessible. Oh, like, the sock go by me. Oh, no, that was just a green laser trying to destroy me. Like, this level's a little tricky, actually. It's not the final level, in case you couldn't guess. Let me guess, it's in one of these doors, and I can't get to it because of the gravity. It's probably in that door right there. I gotta go all the way back up to the top. Get up here, it's a freaking nightmare. I gotta try to tilt the ship so that those doors open. I can't even explain it properly. It's so stupid. Yeah, I can admit when gameplay has flaws like to it, even if I'm up the game. This concept, while well, okay, I don't know. It would be easier if the freaking... Okay, I'm not listening to the intro up right now, so I gotta get all the way freaking back up here. Half the walls aren't climbable for some reason. Technically, none of them should be because they're all made of metal. You know, if you get so freaking confused about where you are... Okay, no. I already know it's down here. It's like the gravity dragged you a certain way. You know what? Instead of going for that one, why don't I do what's on the rest of the ship? This isn't a very big stage. It's a matter of the gravity making something acceptable at the time. Probably another one I can't get to. Or not! It's all hidden forever. Oh my god. Die. The rest of the piece. This has been a mission of mine to destroy all the mechanics. But I'm being especially quick and nice. One of the things is if you lose your rings because of the gravity, they'll usually fly right back to you. Don't make me look bad, game. Already made me walk backwards. Completely oversaw that. I think I'm not making a single other emerald piece. Yeah, see how when you glide, you just go straight down? Just a weird tilt of gravity. Right. Something up here, at least. Maybe, no. Anything. But it's climbing. I'm going by weird angles and shit. Where am I even? Okay, here we go. This is happening. Uh, as long as I'm up there, I'll try to get back to the beginning of the level, which I can never freaking find once I leave it. Way the hell over here. I can't get above that. No body games enjoy those seasons. Why is this thing going off now? Like it's beginning of the level. Alright, so. It's like the opposite of what you think it should be. That opens the door. There it is. Just saw it. I can't see because the door closes in my face. <laughs> so Alright. It's not even hard, it's just annoying. Like, it's just so annoying how many weird. Oh, now all of a sudden the radar is going to be super active. Just going to take it out on you. Okay, you know, cool, cool, buddy. Prepare for that attack. Sneaking up on you. Oh, okay, more freaking lazy. I literally, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, that's right. How about this? Okay, now that was actually very helpful. For once, the hint orb told me something relevant. I'm not even going to bother with my witty banter or my explanation that nobody asked for. It's on this side of the ship. Actually, from the hiding spot, it's down in the back of the data. 
Oh, maybe they are. I don't know. Gotta be towards this side. Could be under an enemy, could be in a cannon. Could be up on one of these platforms. Straight down? Straight ahead? Is it that cannon with the spikes around it? It's the cannon with the spikes around it. All right. Ah, oh, damn it. It wasn't even that long. It was a little less than five minutes, but it just felt terrible. It felt dirty after that. Oh, I don't suppose that pool's available again. Now, to restore the Master Emperor. Apparently there were exactly three pieces left to put back. Again, what is the meaning of this? Yeah, so obviously now we're back to the Master Emerald. Uh, things have gone kind of horribly sideways. Let's find out why or how. Or both. Hey, what happened here? I couldn't stop them. They came, oh, and, and my father. I had no idea how bad this would turn out. You turned out to be dead. I'm shocked. Look, it's the emerald. Really? That's all you noticed from that? Look, it's that emerald that's been there every single other time we come here, but this time everything's on fire around it. Look, it's the emerald. Look, we're on Earth. Look, a rock. Is this a dream? It's more like a nightmare. Yeah, can't argue with the graphics, at least. Dude, look at even the freaking hint orb is like panic after seeing that. It's like twitching and everything. Your friends are in front of the ship fighting. Help okay. Them. Sure, why not? Fail Sonic out again. Whee! I finally found all of the missing emerald pieces, but... But I'm still not happy. Still can't figure out that creepy monster. Hey, yeah. Huh? What's that? Die. Not sure what sound that was. I think Neffles just choked on air. About time. I will return. Big man, come back. Obviously, you remember that. He'll do okay. Now, I must return to Angel Island and the Master Emerald. No, it can't be. Hey, I sit. I guess he didn't get enough the first time. You can't stop me from restoring the Master Emerald. All right, so this part I actually found was pretty interesting. Like, this is obviously after Sonic's encounter with Chaos 6. It's also, no surprise, Knuckles' final boss. But this time, the egg carrier is kind of, like, destroyed. Like, you can see the smoke and stuff, so you can't go in those areas. So, again, they kind of modified this boss to make it harder. Also love this music. So Robotnik's already fled, his plan basically is in ruins, but Chaos is still alive, even after we beat him at Sonic. So this takes place, I don't want to say after Sonic's story, but like, you know, concurrent with him going to find Robotnik and the Egg Viper and all that. And of course, he already opened the door to Lost World for him, so... I don't know, just some little interesting notes I picked up. Okay, oh, I missed my chance. Who is he talking? That's on me. Totally on me. 
So it's kind of cool in Naruto run around this. I hate this attack. It is incredibly un ineffective, and it just kind of doesn't matter. Kind of works. Uh, Also, you'll notice, instead of the ice robots being dropped by Robotnik this time, they just kind of appear. Still same premise, though. Gotta freeze Chaos and then hit him. And don't step in the smoky areas. Even worse, don't get the robots. That really does help. We're just gonna go ahead and kill him right now. Not even gonna give him another chance. Is that all you've got? So that's it. <laughs> we just beat Knuckle's story, and by we, I mean me. Yet again. Doing all the hard work for you guys. All you guys gotta do is suffer through watching me, which I guess is kind of working itself. So there's another story. Again, a lot shorter than I remember it. But hey, a win's a win. You'll notice, yeah, I was gonna say, this time you'll notice Chaos is really gone. Because it just leaves like six emeralds. What's left now is to return the Master Emerald safely to my island. But I guess when Sonic beat him, it just wasn't enough. When Knuckle beat him, he just turns into emeralds again. Yeah, not really sure why the carrier blows up or loses altitude in the first place. But Sonic beating out yeah, 6 isn't what did it, because Knuckles still had to beat him again. But the dead carrier going down happened before Robotnik even brought Chaos 6 out, so I don't know what actually causes it. Alright, but Knuckles is happy because he's got his damn giant green emerald back. And we're all happy because we don't have to go back to Sky Deck. Yay! Those last three pieces somehow reconstruct that whole quadrant of the emerald. Look at that. This that should do it. Perfect. perfect. Three little paper footballs did it. Now. All as well. It's funny in Sonic Adventure 2, he just carries that thing with him like it's like a little emerald. Now I can sleep. Even though that's kind of what got me in trouble in the first place. All right, all kidding aside, I really do like Knuckles' story. I like kind of the, the light it shines on the overall story of chaos. I like the, I even like the treasure hunting thing. Of course, Angel Island once again rising from the sea. That's something that's never really been touched upon in even the comics. It's like why, oh no, actually it is touched upon in the comics. Why Angel Island floats above the earth like that. But in the games, it's just kind of is like it. It's just that's how it is, and it's a really beautiful shot. I forgot how nice that looks. I'll probably be on this floating island forever. Oh, way to end about a downer. Guarding yeah. the master. Yeah, strangely, Knuckles' story like ends on kind of a somber note. It's kind of the same as the beginning. I may not know the whole story behind this, but perhaps it's better that way. And we're not going to tell you anyway. Once more. Well, that makes one of us. So literally, you went through all that just to end up back at the damn Admiral, just sitting. Nah, but I kid. Um, actually, I. Everyone makes fun of Knuckles' raps, and like, oh, yo, I'm Knuckles, I'll be like Sonic, cooler. Like, yeah, they are kind of stupid, but, like, I don't know, this song actually had some good meaning to me. If you really listen to the words of it, you probably won't be able to, because I'm going to talk to them. Well, it's actually got a pretty good melody, at least once it gets to the chorus, and everyone only hears this one part. But now, um, not much to say. I mean, I do enjoy Knuckles' story. Obviously, it's not my favorite story in the game. I have a second favorite story in the game. I mean, my third favorite story in the game. We'll see that a little bit later. But yeah, actually, I don't know. I always thought there was like some extra, I don't want to say neat to the story, but like there, there was stuff there that you wouldn't have gotten from Sonic Story just in terms of, I don't know. 
you find some emeralds, you fight the fucking water monster. All right. All in all, another fun part of one of my favorite games of all time. I know a lot of people give it grief for the, tre the treasure hunting, kind of the bad camera angles and some other things, but I enjoy it for what it is. I probably shouldn't like this song as much as I do. It's just funny hearing a chorus of people like gospel singers singing about anarchy and they say like anarchy, like battling all the evil and anarchy. They're so happy about it. I don't know, sometimes it's nice to just play a dumb game. Like, well, in a way, I mean, no, no, there's no hiding about it. Like, Dreamcast and its legacy to Christmas will always be tied together. I think you guys have always seen that with me. I'm always talking about it. And it's just this. It's just, yeah, the game, it's, you know, it's got some it's got some rough edges, kind of like Knuckles himself. Like, it's, it's got some dumb plot elements. It's got some dumb gameplay parts. But I still love it, you know, and I, I still play this game as often as I can. It's honestly my, you know, like I said, I joked about it, but it's my honor to relive this game, even, you know, as a 30-year-old. It's, it's a lot of fun to play this game again and to be like, like <laughs> you never forget, you know? The name of this song is actually unknown from me, but it's M-E, like Master Emerald, so take that for you, Will. Knuckles existence kind of centers around the Master Emerald. It's kind of explained in other Sonic media. It's not really explained here, and that's fine. Maybe it is better that way, as Knuckles says. But yeah, we're going to get on to the kind of the last third of Sonic Adventure, which parts of it are a little weak, but I still enjoy it. It's all necessary to the overall story. I'm going to play as Amy Rose next time. Sonic's love interest, who we saw briefly. That's when we'll start to see some different content, because for the most part, we've seen kind of similar crossover between Sonic Tales and Knuckles. Just believe in myself, won't rely on others. Hell, still, still take this game over a freaking Sonic Forces, which came out in 2017. I mean, they put a lot more love and time into this game. They basically made like six separate games. Like, I mean, Sonic Forces by itself is barely one full game. Love the Sonic Team logo. I know, I'm a Sonic. I'm a Sonic and Sega apologist. I don't care. Like, this, this these were some of the best games I've ever played. I mean, they put out so many of these games in such a short time. I can't help but appreciate it. Hope you've appreciated it, too. Next time, we're going to check out Amy Rose here. Right now, as always, as we collect our 30th emblem, I ask you to open your heart this Christmas season. We'll see you next time on stream of Sonic Adventure for Christmas.